y'all welcome to my youtube page my name is the portia if you're new here and if you're coming back what's up so today i'm going to be speaking on how i lost my weight if you see my last video i had put that i lost a good amount of weight in one month and i am now down 30 pounds so i want to share exactly what i did because the video I made last was kind of an introduction saying that I'm moving from doing hair, makeup, and I'm moving to the weight loss because that's really what I want to do. Like I said, I'll throw that stuff still in there, but weight loss is what I really want to do because I want to help other females because I struggled for so long until I finally got it with a lot of trial and error, doing different diets. I can explain it all. But like I said, if anybody wants a quick weight loss for a wedding or anything like that, I have plenty of things I can throw out there. But it won't be for long term. But what I'm going to tell you now, I feel like this is long term. I think I learned enough. Not saying that I'm 100% positive, but I feel confident that I learned so much through my trial and error that I definitely know what I'm doing now. And I've been sticking to it. And it's three months now and I am down 30 pounds. First month, I lost almost 20 pounds. It was about 18. And the month after that, I was in a plateau for a good minute. So I didn't lose much. I don't even think I lost 10 pounds then. I think it was maybe like five or six. And then this third month, same thing. I lost, I'm stuck right now at 147. But I'm not mad about it because I'm maintaining it. And also I'm doing more weights. And I noticed that me measuring my waist and my arms i measure all that stuff me measuring it i can see that i'm losing more inches so it doesn't bother me but my main goal is to at least get down to 135 130 ish i feel like i would be more happy at that weight so at first i would say definitely do a cleanse my favorite cleanse to do is smooth move smooth moves it's a tea and you know, you just drink it. It doesn't have a bad taste. They have a mint version that I've tried and they have like a regular version. And normally if I do the regular version, I'll squeeze some lemon in it, but the tea will cleanse you out. If not that, I would go with magnesium citrate or whatever and cleanse you out. Or you can do ballerina tea. I've tried that also. So whatever, anything like that will cleanse you out. Just do a nice little cleanse and then start off fresh. So this is a smooth move tea I was talking about. And this is another tea that I drink sometimes. It's not as strong as the smooth move. And then sometimes I'll just put two tea bags depending on if I had a cheat meal and, and I just need a really detox, I'll mix them both. I wish I had a bottle of the magnesium citrate. I haven't tried that in years, but I used to. And this here is a colon cleanse that I tried once, I think in January, and it was pretty good. I recommend fasting because that's what I did, but you have to work your way up to that. I've been fasting for seven years now, so I can fast for a whole day, which I don't, but I do skip breakfast unless, you know, it's a special occasion going out to breakfast with your husband or it's Christmas breakfast. I don't know, but most of the time on a regular day for me, I do not eat breakfast. I'll skip breakfast. I'll take my daughter to school and then I'll come back, go to sleep. And I wake up and probably go to the gym around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. That's what I did. And work out. I do 45 minutes of cardio. And then I'll do my weights routine, whatever body part I'm working on. And then I'll get in the sauna. By the time I do all of that, it's almost, hmm, depending on how fast I went, if I talk to anybody, whatever. I would say maybe around 1. So I'll be in the gym for a good minute. And then I will eat. Or sometimes I'll let my fast go longer because I can do all day, like I said. And I'll go pick my daughter up from school. She gets out at 2.15. And then I'll come back and have my first meal, which is lunch. Which normally I do a big lunch. It would be like grilled chicken, some vegetables. This is what I did to lose the weight. Grilled chicken, some vegetables. I picked up like some spinach. Um, I'll just create some things. Like I said, me doing keto, even though I don't recommend it, because like I said, once you stop doing keto, 
If you're going back to carbs full force, you're going to blow up. I learned a lot from it, though, because now when I go to the store, whatever I get, I make sure the carbs are low. I don't do high carbs, but I don't say I do keto because weekends, I have at least one cheat meal where I'm eating fries, hamburger, you know, I'll do something like that. I don't just be 100% strict like I was on keto because when I was on keto, I was strict, like for real, for real. I wouldn't have no cheat meal and it worked. But like I said, it's not long term and it can mess up your cholesterol. So like I said, if you want to do that, I can give you some stuff to do. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'll get some healthy snacks. I'll, I'll make sure I'm reading the carbs. I'm not, I haven't learned macros yet, but I'm going to. But I like to count my calories. I'm so used to doing it. I've been doing it since I got out of high school, which is... I graduated in 2008. I started counting calories like 2010, I would say. And since then, it's like, I don't even really have to count them. I'll look at it and kind of calculate it like this. And then when I did the keto last year, I'm so used to that now. It's like, I look at the carbs on the back of the box. So everything is like combined now to where it's so easy for me to make meals and stuff. I like to get the low carb wraps. So I'll make me a little egg wrap sandwich sometimes for lunch get it make a salad like there's a whole bunch of things you can make i like salmon i like um basically any um pretty much any kind of meat with vegetables i've even had ribs i mean a lot of people like ribs and i mean this is a lifestyle it's not a diet so i even have ribs but i have it with some vegetables i do cauliflower mashed potatoes all that kind of stuff and if you don't feel like making it they got it at the store, cauliflower mashed potatoes. And if you don't think they seasoned it enough, throw some more salt on it. But you do have to watch your sodium because there's some things I buy. The sodium is like booming. Like it's this spinach stuff that I buy from Bird's Eye. I don't know if y'all heard of that. That stuff is so good, but it's got a lot of sodium in it. I still buy it. It, it works for me. And if I want some spinach and with some meat on the side, I'll do it. And... And then for dinner, I'll have either a protein shake or I'll do another meal with some of the things I named. So this is a few things that I buy when I'm making my food. You can cut up your own chicken breast. I also do that. But if I want something quick, just throw it in the air fryer or put it in the oven. I'll get this. You can get it at Kroger or Walmart. Um... This is the spinach that I was talking about that's really good. And also, you can make that yourself. But like you said, if you want something fast, that's what you get. We got the mashed cauliflower, cheddar broccoli bake. All of this stuff is so good. And a lot of it I found when I was doing keto, so I still eat it. This is egg noodles and vegetables and it tastes like regular noodles and that's the vegetables you put teriyaki on it or if you want to put some kind of cheese sauce that's all up to you i do my turkey burgers and i like to get less fat in the ones i pick these are good if you want burritos to make a sandwich or any kind of wrap and this is the protein shakes that i drink they all have low carbs. The Premier Protein is really not a meal replacement. It's more of like a snack, I would say. But this stuff here is more of a meal replacement. Use almond milk or water. It's up to you, whatever you want to use in it. And that's that. From what I did when I lost that 20 pounds that first month, that's I was strict on vegetables and meat. I had carbs, but it was like really low carbs. The most carbs I'll eat in a day is probably like 50 50 carbs and then the weekend I'll have a cheat meal which would be like I said American Deli probably which is the wings 10 wings and some fries or I would do um I didn't do any burgers like that because I didn't want to do the bread because it's thick but I'm a pasta girl but even with that I didn't really do pasta my first month which is the most I lost so I stuck to pretty much my protein and my vegetables and that actually worked really good and my biggest thing was the alcohol me cutting alcohol was the best thing because i wanted to challenge myself just to see if i could because every weekend i was partying inviting people over we'll take shots 
and I'm a shot girl. I could take like 10 shots back to back and I'm good. And after, like I said, I want to go eat some Waffle House, something like that. And that was messing me up because I'll do good during the week. This is before my lifestyle change. But before that, I will still eat clean during the week. I wasn't as booming on my workouts because I worked out every day my first month. But still, the thing that was messing me up was the alcohol because I was doing all of that. Then the weekend would come, I'll eat fast food, drink alcohol. And then after that, I get on the scale and it's like I gained like three pounds, which is probably what I lost the week before. And then I'm basically spending the next week trying to lose it. And then the weekend comes again. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you're not really doing nothing. And then plus it, well, if you're a person that works out, it kind of ruins your metabolism. So that's also a bad thing. So it's kind of like a, you know, I don't know. But I also take supplements that I'm also going to show. I'm going to show. So these are the supplements that I take, which is just probiotics and multivitamins. I used to eat these gummy ones. They were really good, but I switched to these. I like it better. Woman Daily Care. Um, these one-a-days are good. I used to take this apple cider vinegar keto stuff when I was doing keto with the mother in it. Um, and these one-a-days here is for if you need a boost in your metabolism, but you have to take that one with food, but it gives you a lot of energy. Some days I didn't want to go to the gym and I would do YouTube Leslie Sanson. I'm going to show a clip of her. I actually lost weight with her before I had my daughter. And all I did was, it's a video at home with four moves and she shows you the moves. She does it with you. It's nothing fast. You don't have to do three miles starting off, but she starts, she has one mile, two miles, three. You can do the video twice if you want. You can do six, two, threes if you want, but it worked for me. I lost weight doing her. And then it's kind of toning because some of her moves are kind of like, you know, kicking your leg out. So I really like her. It's an old video though, Leslie Sanson. I think now somebody done took over her company. So it's like a bunch of other people, but I go back to the same video that I lost weight with and I play it over and over again. So that's what I stick to if I don't want to work out. And it burns the same. Actually, it burns better calories than me going and doing some cardio on the treadmill or elliptical because the pa the um the pace she's doing on the video, not saying she's going super, super fast because it seems like you're dancing. But if you have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch, you'll be able to see how much like your heart rate's up and how many calories you burn. And then at the end, you'll see how many steps you burn. So, um... It's really good. Better than, like I said, my treadmill and elliptical. So sometimes I started skipping. I'll just skip the gym and stay here. Okay, so you got to work out. my own little sit-up routine that I started doing from a video I watched on YouTube with a girl called Chloe Tings and I you know I don't do her video 100% but I, the ones that I liked that I felt comfortable with doing I do that so I just picked out a few that I like from there and then I have a few home workouts for the butt and legs and <clears throat> we have weights so I'll squat with those also so this vibration machine is the best. I seen it at a weight loss clinic I went to back in 2019, and it worked so good. I had to purchase me one, and I love it. It tones your body really good. So I will do that maybe once a day for like 15, 20 minutes. That's all you need. And this is the area you stay away from. No alcohol when you're trying to stay on track. Mm -hmm. So pretty much that's what I did. I drank water all the time. I'm not a juice drinker. I don't drink juice on a regular, so that was never a problem. So if you're a juice drinker, um, I recommend, I guess, trying a Crystal Light, which is the water powder that you can put in your water, and it kind of tastes like a juice or something. But I'm not, I don't drink juice. If you have a taste for sodas, then I would recommend the sparkling water. That's the closest thing you're going to get to it. But basically what I did was anything that I wanted, 
I kind of found substitutions for it. Even with my pasta, because I love pasta, I'll do zucchini and put a pasta sauce on it. You have to do what you got to do. Or egg noodles. I don't know if people heard of those, but you got to do what you have to do if you really want to, you know, look good, feel good. So just do it. And then I'm not big on sweets, like I said in the last video, but I know a lot of people are. But for me, what I did, since I'm not big on sweets, so it didn't kill me too much, I did sugar-free gum. I'll smack on it all day. So you be around me, you're just going to hear my popping, popping, popping. It, I, for some reason, they say gum crave makes people get cravings. It didn't do that with me. So that's what I do. And I know I have braces, but I still chew my gum. And I'll do, like I said, whipped cream and strawberries. I said that in my last video. So I'll do whipped cream and strawberries. Because whipped cream is no calories and there's no sugar in it and stuff. So I do that. And um, what else I do? I'm trying to think because... I haven't even did no more. I have bought some keto snacks. I found some, y'all. Like, I know I'm not doing keto, but it's low carb, so who cares? But it has MCT oil on it and coconut oil, which is good if you know what keto's. Me knowing so much about keto, that's some good oils for your body. So, anyways, I have bought this cheesecake little bars. They're like this big, though, so if you're greedy, you can eat two, but I recommend just eat one. But they have all different kind of flavors. But it's a cheesecake flavor I got with, I think, like strawberry in it, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. And then I had, um, they had like Reese's kind. They had like caramel kinds. But they got some low calories and low carbs. And then if you want a taste of something sweet, you can do a protein shake. They have flavors for some of those. So I'm just saying there's different things that you can do to get your sweet taste if you really want it. Um... Even with fruits, I don't recommend too many fruits, though, because there's a lot of sugar in them. That's why I don't do those like that, unless it's like maybe a strawberry. But still, even that is just rare, because sometimes I'll just take my whipped cream, to be honest, and just be like, pretend it's ice cream. And they have the keto ice cream and stuff at the store, but depending on how many carbs you want to put in your diet, I didn't do it. Because some of that keto ice cream at the store still had a lot of carbs to me in it, but I'm just saying. I mean, you can still lose. I'm, if you're not trying to be as extreme as me, I say go for it. But So here's the crystallite that I was talking about. All you do is put it in your water, mix it up, and it tastes like juice. And then this is the keto bars that I love so much. And it's cheesecake flavor, but look, the calories and the carbs are just perfect. And then Walmart copied their own version, which is just as good. $2 cheaper and... Same, low carbs. Both of the flavors are really good to me. So, so far I'm gonna stick to these two. And this is another good snack if you have a sweet tooth. So I highly recommend. Another thing I also did was the ginger and lemon. I'll cut some ginger up, boil it on the stove and cut some lemon up. That stuff is so good. And I feel like that helped my belly. I'm not gonna even lie. I would drink it every night before bed and in the morning time. So, there's a lot of things that I did and um, I'm sticking to. I feel like it's something I can stick to. And like I said, on the weekends, I still do give myself a cheat meal. I don't drink alcohol like I did, though. I might drink alcohol maybe every few weeks. And if I do, I'm, it might be a shot or something. Because I feel like that can't fit in my lifestyle anymore. Because I tried so many times to keep that in there. And that is one of the things that kept throwing me off. Like, it's not even no point. Don't even try to put that in there. I don't... I tried. Look, I'm going to be the one to tell you, it don't work. Like, you're going to be mad if you do it. Because, I mean, unless you have a strong will, I wouldn't do it. But, yeah, that's some of the things I did. And if you want to hear any more, I don't think there is. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I told you about the waist trainers. I do waist train. There was a cream that I used that I felt like also helped. Like, while I'm working out, it kind of make you sweat more in the stomach that was really good for extra sweating when working out these are the two products that i use the albaline i've been using for years i also use it on my face because that's what it's for but it works under the waist trainer and the hot cream is something i got at the beginning of this year that i really like this is probably my third bottle and it warms up kind of like a vicks vapor rub and 
it works pretty well. I really like it, but the smell on it is really strong. The Abilene is more like a Vaseline material and it doesn't have a smell, so it really depends on what you want. If you like this video, like it. If you're new here, subscribe. If you want to share it, you can share it if you want. Um, and I'll be back with more. Thank you. Bye.